Hello. I know a lot of you are just like me and love to watch a good film. You know, cozy up on the couch, snuggle up in bed with a blanket, or maybe even have a fire going and watch it with your whole family. But either way, we love to get lost in a pure and in an honest art form. What if I told you that there's a director out there who beautifully portrays war, outer space, love, romance, and even things like society and our government, and these are things he covers in the catalog of all his movies, there is. His name is Stanley Kubrick. According to the survey, only two of you know who Stanley Kubrick even is. So my goal today is to get each and every one of you to watch one of his movies. I've been a huge fan of Stanley Kubrick for a while now, so I've seen all of his movies more than once, and when I really love something to that level and find that passion, I really like to dive deep and get to know the person behind it and where they found the inspiration from, where they found the motivation from, what he was doing before he became a director. So Stanley Kubrick is someone that I've looked up to for a while, and I'm a big fan of his. And in the survey, you all revealed to me that you hold value in a great cinematic experience. So watching a Stanley Kubrick film will definitely fulfill that desire. So to start, like I said, in the survey, it showed me that you all hold an importance for a great cinematic experience. But at the same time, however, only 25% of you even know who Stanley Kubrick really is or even is. And he's known as one of the best directors ever. So that's just so crazy to me. And along with that fact, 62.5% of you admitted to watching at least one to two movies a week. So it's just totally wild to me that none of those films that you're all watching are Stanley Kubrick films. And 50% of you said that you would watch a Stanley Kubrick film if it was recommended to you. So I guess that just shows me that you aren't getting that many recommendations for his films. And I really hope you're not getting bad recommendations for his films because that would definitely be a big shame in my eyes. But when I asked in the survey, what films of him did you watch, if you've watched any at all, I really only got one response. And that response was The Shining, which may be his most recognizable film in terms of who knows the name of the film. Because uh, other people who really know Stanley Kubrick know that some of his other movies are, are his big life work, like 2001 A Space Odyssey, Clockwork Orange, Full Metal Jacket, and Eyes Wide Shut. So now that we know and that we can see what was revealed to me, which is that most of you find this value of a great cinematic experience, but none of you really know who Stanley Kubrick is, I want to tell you why watching one of his films will fulfill that desire for a good cinematic experience. Watching a Stanley Kubrick film is a phenomenal experience. And given some more results from the survey, it shows me that all of you watch so many different movies. The genres out there really are all over the place. Some of you like to watch a comedy, others like to watch a horror or a mystery suspense thriller or just like a war movie. And that makes sense because all the different movies that are out there and types of movies that are out there. But this really shows me that he's got, Stanley Kubrick himself has movies for everybody. Gary Ross is the director of the Hunger Games series. And he talks about Stanley Kubrick in a Hunger Games interview. And he states he's almost like Picasso in a way. How he masters so many different genres. So to have this praise, it really shows me how much he did master those genres from war to horror to, to romance to outer space. And I personally believe the fact that he was able to do this speaks more about him and his appreciation for photography because photography doesn't cater to any genres and caters to life, right? And that's what he wanted to do through his films since he was a still photographer before he became a director, before he became a screenplay writer, and before he became a filmmaker. He wanted to master that first before he stepped into this world of cinematography. And I believe his appreciation for photography is what made him want to turn image into motion, create more of that story, and is what propelled him into this career of being a director. Um, one of his favorite fans and biggest fans and is Mark Criselt. He's an, um, a writer for tasteofcinema.com and he's a fanatic of Stanley Kubrick. He has so many different articles about him. But on tastecinema.com, he has an article in 2015 and he states about Kubrick that he has a keen sense 
for a single image telling an epic story. And this is really who, who Stanley Kubrick was from photography into filmmaking. And I believe that has a lot to do with his alchemy that he creates when he makes a movie from the music, the cinematography, from the camera angles, from the actors and, and the dialogue that are being said. And then, like I said with the music, but it'll hit you right at the right time where you feel it right in your center and you feel some way that you've never really felt before. I mean, that's how I felt watching his movies. And, and I think a lot of people do as well. And one of the uh, famous quotes that have been said about Kubrick, probably the most famous quote, came from Marvel Scorsese, one of the biggest directors ever. And he states about Kubrick in an interview in 2005 saying, watching a Stanley Kubrick film is like gazing upon a mountaintop. You look up and wonder, how could anybody climb that high? Whoa. To me, having that praise from a director of Martin Scorsese's magnitude really speaks volumes to who Stanley Kubrick was as a filmmaker and how other people view him in the industry and, and, and the hard work that he put in to get to the place he was. And I'll add my own quote who, of who I think Stanley Kubrick is and what it's like to watch his movies, which to me, to watch a Stanley Kubrick film is what it's to know to be human. So don't miss out on your opportunity to see what that's like from Stanley Kubrick's eyes. Now, since I went through all of that, I'll show you and I'll tell you a couple of his titles and where you can go watch some of his movies. To start 2001 A Space Odyssey is a trek to outer space. The cinematography, the music is absolutely stunning. It's a must-see Stanley Kubrick film. And you can watch that for free right now on HBO Max. Or you can buy it or rented for very cheap on Amazon Prime. The second one I'll bring up is Full Metal Jacket, which is Stanley Kubrick's interpretation of Vietnam War. Phenomenal film, and you can watch that for free on Hulu and Amazon Prime. The next one I'll bring up is Eyes Wide Shut, which is actually his last film. He died shortly after that film was released, which is another just interesting fact. But that one's with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, it's a love movie that's intertwined with jealousy and deceit. And you can find that one for free on Amazon Prime. And then the last one I'll bring up, which is one of my favorites, is Clockwork Orange. It's a movie about a, a kind of a gang of thieves, a mischievous group of uh, young men who really find out a lot about life and it hits them really hard. And you can't really say a lot about these movies. You just got to sit down and let them happen for yourself. But... One of the best movies from Stanley Kubrick. It's so beautiful, great ending. And you can find Clockwork Orange for free right now on Netflix. So as you can see from all the praise that Stanley Kubrick gets from directors like Gary Ross and Martin Scorsese and has big fans of his like mine and Mark Grisselt, the writer, you can see that there's a lot of merit to his movies and the hard work that he put in and, and the overall product that came, the result that came from this hard work and passion, motivation and and watching a Stanley Kubrick film to me isn't just a great cinematic experience. It's a reminder, it's a symbol to who we are as people down to our cores. And if you truly decide to watch one of his movies and just let go, you'll sink into your chair and fall in love with one of his films. So if you want to watch a movie by yourself sometime this week or you're planning a date night for your girlfriend or for your boyfriend or maybe you're going to watch a movie with your family Make sure that a Stanley Kubrick film is on this list because his movies will reveal emotions to you that you thought you never had. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions?